Whew. How's it going everyone? Um, in this video we're going to talk about snakes on a plane. Not quite on a plane, but what we're going to discuss is how in Europe or in England, uh, or in the UK should I say, how snakes go from A to B. Uh, over in the States, you guys have got it really, really lucky and really, really good. So in this video, we're gonna discuss that and I'll show you and I'll explain some of the complications what we have to go through here in the UK. And I'm also gonna advise who to use for those people in the UK, okay? So stay tuned. Oh, a bit chilly today. So, we're not in the HQ today, uh, we're currently in my front room, but what we're going to discuss, uh, I feel that uh, it's almost like a sit down and talk about the situation. So we're going to sit down, and we're going to have a chat, and I'm going to discuss and try and help you guys in the UK or in Europe uh, with the logistics of um, moving a, a reptile from A to B, and who to use, and obviously, hopefully, this will explain uh, to our uh, brothers and sisters across the pond how easy or how um, how good they've got it over there regarding shipping uh, reptiles from A to B okay so let's get sit down coffee first things first coffee okay coffee laptop um, okay Shipping an animal in the UK or in Europe from A to B is very difficult because there are certain rules and regulations that we aren't allowed to ship it uh, through people like DHL or um, you know Parcel Force and, 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 and people like that. We can't ship uh, a snake physically through the post. So you can't go and box it up like you do in the US take it to your nearest parcel dispatch and off it goes and, and away to your customer we can't do that there's rules and reg regulations so <clears throat> we have to use a reptile courier which is a, de a, a dedicated person who drives a van up and down the country into europe out of europe and back in, up and down the uk um with said reptiles and this person will um normally they do it at the start of every month and they'll normally be away from their uh, friends and family while they're they're distributing driving this these animals up and down the country um, they can be away for two weeks or more sometimes um, and what happens is let's say I've sold a, a, an animal and it's going somewhere in the UK the reptile courier will come obviously I've boxed that animal up no, I don't need to use heating. Um, I tend to use uh, some plastic tubs uh, with labels on that sort of thing. Some people use bags or, or pillowcases. Um, <clears throat> and we bag them up or we box them up. Um, and then the reptile courier on the back of their van have a heating system, uh, which is like a hot box basically. <clears throat> And that hot box is controlled via temperature, uh, via um, uh, thermostats, uh, and, and the heating elements. So we know that animal is going to be kept at the perfect temperature or a perfect stable temperature while it's on its journey. So let's say the reptile courier will come to me for I don't know Monday morning. Let's say they'll come to me for Monday morning. There, that animal may get to the person either Wednesday or Thursday so there's quite a few days difference it's not like an overnight thing um, so that animal then is in the care of the reptile career that the person um, is using okay so that's really important so when it comes down to using a reptile courier we have to reputation is the key okay because obviously I don't want my animals being how can I say away from the HQ on the way to their new home and the reptile courier let's say isn't looking after the animal very well whether that be lack of water or lack of heat um, you know feeding it's not not a key here it's it's mainly the water if need be or the heating or and the heating should I say um, so reputation is key I used to use a, a gentleman called Kevin 
uh, he used to run cold blooded movements uh, here in the UK and it was an absolutely fantastic service. Uh, Kevin decided he was just going to uh, get out and do some other stuff uh, and then uh, a, a great gentleman called Stuart took over. Stuart continued to uh, operate uh, the way Kevin did, he took on his customers and very, very, very top surface, very happy with, with cold blooded movements. Um, then unfortunately Stuart, uh, he had an accident. So he, when he eventually come back to work, he tried to do the reptile currying, um, but he struggled. So, you know, health comes first, let's face it. And Stuart decided to sell the business or to, 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 to leave it all together. Um, Stuart, I'm, I saw him at the last show, he's in great health, uh, he seems 100% better, um, as in himself, and that's the key, let's face it, you know, health is, is, is more important. Um, so, I was a bit stuck, really, who to use. I've got a good friend of mine, Alan, over at No Limit Morphs. Um, he's always driving up and down the country, and if I needed an animal taking, um, he would take it for me, uh, almost like a door-to-door -door service, which was fantastic. Um, but Alan's got a family, and obviously he's got his own snakes, this, that, and the other, so it's something that, you know, Alan's not, you know, he, it's not his full-time job, and he was just doing it more so as a favour. So I needed a reliable and a... Um, a reptile curry that you know that could basically deliver um, animals simple um, and there was one gentleman that came um, I'm not sure but I believe it, a customer another customer of my of mine used this this company and it was uh, the rep uh, sorry the tarantula barn uh, uh, a gentleman called Steve. The, the tarantula barn was fantastic so most couriers do it once a month at the beginning of every month you book your slot uh, and then they'll come and collect your animal uh, and deliver it random, you know, the early stages of that month. Um, Tarantula Barn were doing every two weeks, which was awesome. Um, really good, because obviously then if you brought a reptile, you know, you didn't really want to wait a month. Um, so Tarantula Barn was a perfect way of getting the animals out. Um, you, you know, in a short period of time. And, and just to go over on cost, a cost to ship or to transport a animal um, from A to B is roughly around about £45 there or thereabouts. Um, I never used to make anything on it, I used to just pass the, the cost on to the customer uh, and, and, and that was that. So I started to use Tarantula Barn quite a lot and it was working quite well until one day um, I had some snakes delivered um, and when they turned up they were freezing cold. I thought nothing much of it, temp gunned them, they were running at 14 degrees Celsius. That's not good. So I quickly got them in a hot box, warmed them up, checked them over. Subsequently they are doing fine, there's no issues with them. Um, these snakes came one from one person, one from another um, and Steve also from Tarantula Barn picked up two animals to take to one of my customers. Uh, I believe um, it was, so he dropped them off to me uh, one day in the morning and then the next day he was delivering to my customer the next, the, the next day and the next morning. My customer sent me a message saying thanks very much, the animals are fantastic, however when they did turn up they were cold. That sort of rang a little bit of a alarm bells for me. So I then he, he also temp gun his animals, um, they were 14 degrees as well. So when I spoke to the reptile courier Steve at Tarantula Barn, he said uh, where he had to go to, it was a walk up his street. So he couldn't take the van, so he had part of the van at the bottom and then walked up the street with the snakes um, sort of under his top, if you like, to keep them warm. Um, and when I wasn't sort of you know, kicking off. I was just asking him and just saying, look, you know, my snakes were cold as well. He then sent me some pictures of the thermostats that he, again, has got a hot box and he's got two stats, one that runs the top, I believe, and one that runs the bottom. Um, he's using um, like um, a ceramic tubing for heating. Uh, I think the top one, uh, I haven't got the photos in front of me, but the top one was about 32 degrees and the bottom was, was about 27. 
which you're going to get a degree difference that's fine understandable da 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 um, however you know obviously I was a bit concerned and so was my customer then when I reassured my customer that you know the, the I sent the, uh, the, the customer the pictures he then messaged me back my customer did and he pointed out that actually if you look at the stats they were timed to go on and off through the night so on the picture of the stats it says to go off at half past six on an evening and to come back on at seven in the morning that's not good so that means through the night the coldest part the 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 stats are off i then contact and, and i didn't pick up on this i was quite wow you know um and when i looked i, I could see it. i was like man that's crazy so when i contacted uh trench Laban or steve um i asked him i said you know look did you know your stats go off through the night you know um and i pointed out on the picture and this that, and the other uh, never heard from him again never got back to me never reassured me never said sorry never said that's a mistake that's not right um so i don't know i don't use tarantula barn anymore uh and i'm putting it out there because i believe that we all need to know these sort of things uh and i'm not slating tarantula barn um, but we all make mistakes and we all have an opportunity to put that mistake right and if it was a genuine mistake uh, then a simple I'm sorry or you know apologies we're gonna put that right you know let let I don't know can I do another run for free you know just something just to reassure me just to show me because this you know this company was running out you know doing runs every two weeks which was fantastic um, and I was a bit like nothing you know and I feel as a customer and someone who's <clears throat> Uh, I deserve an, uh, an answer because of these animals are animals at the end of the day they're not like a parcel of letters or you know so I haven't used them since um, I'm putting this out there because I do believe a lot of people in the UK do use them <clears throat> um, and if you've had no issues that's fantastic uh, it was just the experience that I had and the experience um, was cold animals and I pointed out to the uh, to, to Steve the um, the guy at the tarantula barn that the stats were going off or were timed to go off on an evening and come back on in the morning seven o'clock in the morning so I don't know however moving forward from that uh, a young gentleman called Ethan and his lovely other half Gemma uh, they took over a reptile business from D and Joe uh, and they named it. Uh, snakes on the go which is a reptile Korean service and they operate once a month um, and I've been using them and what an amazing service absolutely great guys great people communication is fantastic um, and I really do wish them all the best they operate operate every month once a month um, they go into Ham, out of Ham, they go all the way up to Scotland. So those up in Scotland, uh, I really strongly suggest you give Ethan and Gemma at Snakes on the Go a call. Um, they are on Instagram and Facebook. I will put a link in their description below um, and put their contact details in. Uh, and I'd like to announce that next year, because we are in 2018 and obviously you know, I've got no eggs on the ground or anything like that, but they will be the exclusive reptile courier for balls to you uh, in and around the UK and going into Europe <clears throat> I am looking at getting stuff over into the States which I can get snakes over there it's just expensive and I'm not sure if you know at the minute I need to make sure that it's going to be viable for those customers over in the States for them to receive an animal from myself and not make it you know the price through the roof so while we're in the UK and in, in Europe, I will be using snakes on the go as my, uh, you, you know, they are my, my, my reptile couriers. And what I will do, I will guarantee any animal, uh, the minute it leaves here to the minute it gets to your doors, if anything happens to that, I will guarantee that animal. If customers of mine want to use another reptile courier, obviously I don't know that reptile courier and I won't, um, honor a guarantee because I don't know how they operate and as I said in the story before regarding 
um, the tarantula barn, the animals come first. It's not about the price of the curry. It's about the, 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 the animal's welfare, okay? So I will, um, they will be my primary uh, reptile courier uh, moving forward, okay? So I'd like to welcome you all to go and take a look at uh, Snakes on the Go. Uh, I'll put all their links in the description box below. Please go and give them a follow if you're on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and again, read all their fantastic comments that they've had from other people who have delivered animals up and down the country. And uh, uh, a lot of people do use snakes on the go already. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys because a lot of people don't realize how, how it works in the UK. And, and especially people, in, some people who are new in the UK don't know how it works and they, they, we, we see videos on, on, on YouTube regarding how the how our brothers and sisters do it over in the States, but here in the UK it's completely different and there's a lot to consider and again, like I said, it is a specialist job, let's say, um, and that's exactly <clears throat> what you guys need. You know, you want quality breeders, you want quality animals, and you want quality reptile currying, uh, and snakes on the go certainly deliver that, okay? So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. If you feel you wanna hit that like button, please do hit that notification bell. Remember, every time I upload, it will should, or it should, remind you that um, I've, I've uploaded a video. And also please leave some comments in the comment box below. I love reading your comments. I love to see your feedback. Um, it's very positive. Uh, and, and, and this is what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, it's about helping each other in the community. And that's one thing that the, the Balls to You brand stands for is a, you know, balls to those people who wanna try and stitch us up or do us over or mug us off. That's one thing I don't like. But that's a rant for another video, but anyway, uh, hope you're all well. Please subscribe as well. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And again, hope you're all well. Take care, and I'll speak to you guys soon.